Everyone, to start off this week, we have to talk about gold. It uh, closed at a new record high uh, once again uh, last week. And, um, you know, there are lots of uh, calls out there for gold to be uh, overbought and correcting 20%. And there's always a chance of that. However, the long-term breakout here is notable. And I just want to quickly bring this up here and put it into a little bit of context what's taking place. Gold has this tendency to, and this we're looking at gold futures here for just a minute. We'll look at the GLD for some context to consolidate for a long period of time and then ultimately break out. And by the way, spoiler alert, there's other things that look exactly like gold that I've been consolidating for a long period of time, <coughs> copper, um, and other things, by the way, that look very similar and I think they're gonna be next. That's part of our inflation story. Make sure you uh, tune in for that, certainly on our morning uh, show on Set the Market on YouTube. But I, I, th I think we have to continue to respect this trend. Now, we're gonna get setbacks. I mean, at this point, at any given point, you know, gold can drop 10% and nothing will have cracked. Uh, quite frankly, you know, if you really wanna look at gold it, through the lens of the, of, of the long-term lens, I mean, we could get a classical check back. I mean, that, I tell you, that would hurt. Right, then ultimately, uh, you know, you kind of get one of these. Um, and that pullback, and I'm not calling for it here, I really am not, I, I'm just owning gold from a diversification perspective. I don't really want to fine tune too much, although I'm, I'm considering maybe taking some near-term profits, I haven't done it yet as of right now. But yeah, I mean, the 30% drop would get it back to where it was, it would erase all of this year's gains. That would be pretty bad. Um, but it's not entirely out of the question, right? I mean, just just want to give people some perspective. Like, for example, when gold broke above its highs there in 2007, it was extended by or above there by 37%. And it proceeded to drop that entire move. That's like 30%, right? So it has done this before. I just, I, I need, and then of course, from that point, it rallied, you know, 160%. So if that were to happen and we were to come back here and then rally 160 percent, uh, you know, gold would be up at five north of five thousand. So I don't. I I, I want to remain long gold. I don't want to make too tactical a call here. Although we will certainly pay attention. This is the monthly chart, by the way. The one thing, the one trouble with gold that people have, even though it tends to hold its value very well and it's and it's in that sense an inflation hedge. Um, the one problem with gold is it doesn't generate an income, right? And so let's look at the GLD ETF real quick. This is one of those things where uh, obviously this one doesn't have as much history as the gold futures. But if you look at this on a, on a weekly chart, now zooming in just a little bit, you can kind of see how this panned out. And if we were to see a move uh, that lasts as, 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 that is as long as the depth of this consolidation period, we would in that scenario see gold the GLD go up to, you know, 340, which is well north of 3,004 uh, spot. Um, but again, the, the issue remains, it doesn't generate an income. And so what we're going to show you this week is how we can attempt to generate an income from gold and other things, by the way, be that stocks, be that ETFs along the way. And um, that is particularly interesting in an environment where inflation, as we've been talking about now for some time, is likely going to reaccelerate now. It already is, by the way. And so we want to be able to generate an income on anything that we can. We'll show you how we like to do that. There's a specific, very simple and repeatable option strategy that we can do. So if you like the idea of generating income, particularly in something like gold, uh, we'd love to show you that works. Make sure you join us for that this week. Down below or on the next screen is where you can sign up. We'll see you there.